Okay, this is, uh, this is um, studying bone tissue and this model. So this is for um, study for Anatomy 2A um, in the summer session 2016. Um, each of these functional units right here are referred to as osteons. These, these are the, the units that form compact bone. And compact bone goes from just inside the periosteum here all the way into where you find the medullary cavity or the spongy bone here at the, the inside. So all of these osteons then pack together in compact or, or ground bone, and the osteons uh, each have a concentric a group of concentric lamellae or rings, one, two, three, four, five, for this one. And so one osteon is, is a system that has down its center a central canal or Herversian canal where blood vessels travel up and down. You can see those here on the side of the osteons. And each osteon uh, would be connected by uh, a horizontal connection called a perforating canal or a Volkmann's canal um, that you can see here on the side. This would be a Volkmann's canal also, joining one Herversian canal to another within that osteon. Each concentric ring is called, like I said, a lamellae. And uh, you'd also have within those rings these small spaces right here. These are called lacunae. And those spaces would have residing in them osteocytes, mature bone cells, that would be um, would be functioning and communicating within these uh, within this osteon. The radiating lines that you see between one ring and another between those spaces would uh, be referred to as canaliculi, joining one uh, ring to another. Uh, canaliculi would be joining one lacunae to another, and the type of bone growth we would see in this bone could either be by adding a ring around it, that's called a concentric growth. You could also um, add an outer ring out here around the entire circumference, that's called circumferential growth. Or you could place bone into the in-between osteons, which would be called interstitial bone growth. All of these would result in widening of this bone tissue. And as I already said, this outer membrane here, this, this vascular membrane is the perichondrium. And on the inner lining here, you would have the periosteum, uh, or the endosteum, all right? So para, para osteum out here, peri, uh, endosteum here, and this periosteum on the outer surface is what we got from cartilage when we made this bone uh, in the form of, of uh, perichondrium. So perichondrium becomes periosteum and brings blood supply into this bone if you're making it from cartilage. Notice it's a highly vascular tissue on the inner lining where you have the new spongy bone that's being pushed out as, uh, into compact bone layers. You have red bone marrow and hemocytoblasts producing uh, that, that, those blood cells in your body, um, all of your blood cells, through a process called hematopoiesis. Uh, study this model, please.